if we let our minds go there, we know we can spiral out of control really quickly into a dark, deep place where your head becomes a really scary place to be. So the question is, how fast can you get out of it? When something goes wrong, how long does it take you to get out of it? Think about it, like we're all being squeezed all the time, right? Uh, clients are squeezing us, spouses are squeezing us, time is, is squeezing us, masks are squeezing us, uh, constraints of what we can and cannot do. We're all in the middle of this together and the challenge is if we let our minds go there, we know we can spiral out of control really quickly into a dark, deep place where your head becomes a really scary place to be. So the question is, how fast can you get out of it? What do you do to interrupt the pattern? I've shared this with you many times before that what I use is sort of the, the recognition of feelings are the body language, right? The language of your body, how do you feel? But up here, it's your thoughts, right? So can I interrupt the thought and can I interrupt the feeling? The answer is yes. So you just find out something tragic happens and there's no doubt. Sometimes we need to sit in that. We need to allow it, we need to unfold and, and you know, just experience that. And then I gotta move forward. I gotta move forward and I gotta do it fast and I gotta do it powerfully. How do you do it? You change what your body's doing. You change your physiology. You adjust your positioning. And I know you're like, but wait a minute, I'm in my apartment and I've been stuck here for weeks and I'm still saying to you, yes, put your shoulders back, put a smile on your face, like change your physiology and everything begins to change. And then you gotta change the thoughts. And I know, you know, everybody knows, right? Thoughts are things. We know that it's, it's all about the law of attraction. The more I keep talking about it, the, the more I get of it. But look, you and I, what we want is like this possibility-based mindset, this I can do it mindset, this non-fixed but all growth mindset. Be really clear, you've got to talk yourself into it. So often we find ourselves talking ourselves out of success, out of abundance, out of we can, what we gotta be doing, and you can hear my tone like, you gotta start talking yourself into it. Think about the, the last dance, which we've all watched, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, the, the story of this incredible human being, Michael Jordan, and they were like, well, like, you know, when you're about to make that shot, like, do you, do you ever imagine, like, not making the shot? He's like, of course not. Like, why would, he doesn't even go there, right? He just continues to plant the seeds of greatness, of I can do this, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna make it happen. Did he lose? Of course he did. Did he always make the shot? No, but here's the deal. The same rule applies for me and you. How you feel, ready, and the thoughts. All of that, you interrupt the pattern, you get a better result. More importantly, you start grooving it and doing it over and over and over and over and over, and you know what? That's who you become.